So, how is the Halrigel after getting buffed in the TTK patch? Well, I got to say, it's insane. But let's start from the beginning. If you haven't been keeping up with the recent updates of Battlefield 1, there is a big weapon balance patch coming along with the second half of Turning Tides DLC during this January. The update is supposed to reduce the amount of time required to kill the enemy, and because of that, weapons need to have their damages increased. All of the weapons across the board got buffed, and Hellrigal is no exception. It also got its damage increased, and it went from 5 bullets required to kill the enemy to only 4. There is tons of controversy around this topic, considering that Hellrigal is both the most used weapon in Battlefield 1, and at the same time, the most hated one, because everyone uses it. Generally, the biggest problem with the Hellrigal before the DK patch was that it was pretty much the only assault weapon that was good. Because while, yes, you can do well with the MP18, the Rebel Arrows, they were always worse than the Hellrigal, and it didn't make much sense to actually use them, at least to the 90% of the player base. But now that the TTK patch was implemented, Hellrigal doesn't really stand out that much anymore. Don't get me wrong, it is still a very good weapon, but if you play with it, it is not superior to everything around you. You can easily use Ribleroys or even MP18 and shred the Hellrigal user into pieces. Remember that there was a lot more things changed than simply increasing the damage of those weapons, so... I don't think everything is in the patch notes actually, but those weapons feel a lot more different when you shoot with them than they used to before the patch. I can't really explain it, because as I said, I'm quite sure not everything is included in the patch notes, but there was a lot more done than simply increasing the damage. Just trust me on this one. It is a lot more balanced now, and you will notice this immediately when you play the game for yourself. There's also been tons of people in the comments, on Reddit, and pretty much everywhere on the internet where Battlefield community is, saying that DICE should just leave Hellrigal at 5 bullets to kill and buff all of the other weapons. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but if they did this, they could pretty much remove Hellrigal at this point. It would be useless. And the point of having this patch is to balance out the game, not nerf good weapons to the point of being useless, because then I bet that the Rebel Royce would be next God Gun, or the MP18. Some of them would be, because there would be nothing else to use, and everyone would be running around with those. And you would be asking to nerf them in the next update. I know some of you might be upset about this, but the ultimate goal is to get the properly balanced game in the end. However, I do agree that doing this such a long time after the game was released is a little bit absurd. Anyway guys, that would be it for this video. Before you click off, I got a short announcement for you. Some time ago, I started a collaboration with the biggest Battlefield 1 community called BF Nations. Basically me and a couple of other creators are building a separate channel related to Battlefield 1 news, top plays and other types of videos. So if you would like to see more videos from me and also other creators, make sure to check out BF Nation's channel, it is both linked in the description, you can see it on the screen right now, plus it is in the pinned comment, so it's pretty much everywhere. If you're concerned that you're gonna miss out on some content because it's going to be on BF Nations instead of my channel, don't worry, my channel will still be getting 100% of content, you're not gonna lose anything from this channel, you will just gain some bonus stuff on the other one. And that being said, as always, if you enjoyed, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and I see you on the battlefield!